Welcome back to CBS Mornings. We continue to follow what the State Department is calling the wrongful detainment of Brittany Griner. That's the WNBA star who's been in Russian custody since February. This morning, we're learning the Russian Foreign Ministry is saying it is, quote, difficult at the moment to engage in any kind of prisoner exchange with the U.S. In Phoenix last night, Griner's fans rallied to demand her freedom to bring her home. Ed O'Keefe is following developments from the White House. Ed, good morning. Dana, good morning. Good to see you. As you said, supporters sat at her home court last night ahead of her second scheduled court appearance today in a Moscow area courtroom. We already talked about this yesterday, but it's the same. It's literally the Dave Chappelle bit. Have you seen the absolutely insane shit Chuds have been saying about her? No, but it is the Dave Chappelle bit. Terrorists don't fucking, uh, terrorists don't kidnap black people because nobody gives a fuck about black people. It's true. Look at this shit, dude. That's a Dave Chappelle bit, and it's literally true. You're, you're watching it. Like, you're watching it unfold. State Department's like, sorry. We just can't be uh, seen negotiating with the, with the uh, Russian government right now. Oops. Truthfully, I can't rest as her humanity is being stripped from her. Supporters of the 31-year-old basketball star gathered at Footprint Center, home of her WNBA team, the Phoenix Mercury, to rally for Brittany Griner's return home. Griner's wife, Sherelle, addressed the crowd. I'm frustrated that 140 days have passed since my wife has been able to speak to me, to our family, and to our friends. I'm frustrated that my wife is not going to get justice. The rally came after the Star Olympian penned an Independence Day letter to the president, who read it and responded with a phone call to Sherelle. The White House says the president told her he's working to ensure the release of Brittany, as well as the release of Paul Whelan and other U.S. nationals who were wrongfully detained or held hostage in Russia and around the world. You know, why the outreach to some families and not others? The that statement sparked criticism from Whelan's sister, who says the president hasn't called her family directly about securing her brother's release. Whoever thought this was a good idea has to remember that other families with far less resources have been waiting for years and years to see some action to bring their loved ones home. Paul Whelan is serving a 16-year sentence on an espionage charge ever since being detained in Russia in 2018. As for the... I made this, um, I made this qualify, I made this caveat, this qualifier yesterday as well. There are times when the Russian government or the Chinese government or the Iranian government or whoever the fuck will literally arrest people and say, you're CIA, you're doing CIA shit. The Brittany Griner case is absolutely removed from that circumstance. Brittany Griner is completely fucking innocent of like any severe wrongdoing other than literally having a fucking vape pen with her bullshit and is being used as a, a bargaining chip because she is the most high-profile person that the Russian government could hold as political hostage at the time. That doesn't excuse imprisonment of, like, CIA people, too, ultimately. But that's just regular protocol and still completely separated from Brittany Griner's instance, a, 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 a case. I just want people to understand and make that distinction. President, he is said to have written a response to Brittany Griner. Uh, in response to that letter, she sent him on Independence Day, but the White House has not yet revealed the contents of that message. Dana? All right, Ed, thank you. Wait, what? She shouldn't have carried it, bro. It's such a stupid thing, dude. Um, she would experience the same exact treatment if she accidentally brought the THC vape to Kentucky? No, she wouldn't. No, you're just fucking lying now. That's not true. You're so fucking stupid. No, you know what would happen? They would take the pen and go, this is illegal, and throw it in the trash, you dumb bitch. Shut the fuck up. They literally fucking kidnapped her and threw her in prison for four months now. Shut the fuck up. Get the fuck out of here, bro. The reason why she was carrying that shit is probably because she's carried it a million times over, too. Like, it's not like a fucking big deal. The, the reason why they decided not to be lenient on this circumstance is because of fucking Ukraine. Come on. L.A. Lakers guard Alex Caruso was arrested and released on Tuesday for possession of marijuana and drug paraphernalia. According to Texas State and police, both are misdemeanor charges. Still got arrested. That's not they'd let her go. Jesus fucking Christ. I want to fucking put every sports Twitter Andy in a fucking cannon and launch them into the sky. Okay? Bro, they fucking released him. Is Brittany Griner released? Did they let her go? How fucking desperate are you? Take the Russian cock out of your fucking ass, you dumb bitch. 
Holy fuck, you're so goddamn desperate to be like, you're so desperate to, to fucking make this narrative stick that it is like a justifiable and adequate fucking arrest and not purely political that you're literally just like, ah, oh, it was illegal! You fucking idiot. How many times have you wrote based fucking tweets about America KKK ah being so fucking unjustifiably cruel to black people? But when Russia does it, you're like, oh, well, she broke the law. She deserves to be shot. Yo, white people, stop being fucking racist challenge, dude, for like three and a half seconds. This is ridiculous. If you are just looking at the Britney Griner situation and be like, well, she shouldn't have carried a fucking weed pen to Russia. Like, you're just a piece of shit, dude. Straight up. You're just a bad person. How could you make the distinction that laws can be unjustifiable and really fucking idiotic and really cruel when it comes to America, but can't see that for Russia. Of course not, but being stuck in prison, being arrested, bailed out, and being allowed to move freely are different things for the record. I don't agree with the arrest. Fuck them. It's insane. Any of this is illegal, but that's the same as you, Kentucky. Saying Kentucky lets people go for weed. That's flatly wrong. Brother, why the fuck are you defending the Kentucky laws to begin with? Ask yourself that question. I promise, bro. I'm not. Oh, okay. Para Genome, I know why you're saying that, because you're a dumb fucking Russia-loving bitch, okay? That's why you're saying that. I know why you're saying that, 36 month subscriber, because you can't take the fucking Russian cock out of your ass when you talk. I know where you're coming from, you fucking idiot. Drug trafficking! Weed still gets people life in jail. And then there's drug trafficking laws. They would be severely punished. I don't know why you think they would just throw it away. Ask yourself why you're saying that. No, seriously, ask yourself why your immediate thing is like, she's drug trafficking. That's psychotic, dude. Completely fucking insane that you're saying shit like this. She's been detained and in Russian custody since February. Literally right as Russia invaded Ukraine. And they're holding her for a large-scale transportation of drugs. It's fucking weed pens, man. Y'all are fucking disgusting, dude. You disgust me. You have no fucking intellectual integrity. You don't have a little bit of fucking morality, dude. You cast every, every attitude you have aside when it comes to defending a particular narrative. It's like she had been doing it and they waited until the same week to have some bargaining chip, but the useless U.S. government doesn't care about black women and never has. Yeah, exactly. She broke the law. How is it whether or not you agree with the law itself pertinent? Shut the fuck up! Oh my god! I'm losing my fucking mind! The law is fucking bullshit! The law is bullshit! There's clear leniency in the way that they look at this law! Of course it's pertinent! If a woman went to Saudi Arabia and they fucking arrested her for driving after sunset, you would never, ever say, well, that's the law, them's the rules, but you're saying that because you can't stop defending Russia! I'm gonna get banned. I'm gonna get banned before I go to the UK at this rate. We live in America! Women are, women are about to go to jail for miscarriages, dude. Sorry, the law's the law doesn't fucking count. You dumb, cocksucking motherfuckers. All of you should have been fucking aborted. I hate you. I hate you so much. 90% of the things we talk about on this fucking broadcast is about how legality is not a substitute for morality. And how fucked up it is. And all these dumb Republican piglets oink and squeal and talk about how, well, that's the law. The law's the law. She should go to jail. He should go to jail. How much do we shit on them? Why are you behaving exactly in the same piglet capacity now? Now that a black woman is fucking unjustifiably detained for, with, a, with a trafficking charge for a fucking weed pen, which carries a 10-year sentence, suspiciously around the exact same time that Russia invaded UK, suck my cock. Disgusting, dude. Your fucking caucasity is just like seeping through fucking every orifice. You can't. You can't, you can undo so much, but you cannot fucking unlearn being just a gigantic white piece of shit. You gotta uphold, number one, no matter what happens, you gotta uphold either the integrity of the Russian court system, or just like, that a black woman violated the law so she should die. I know she broke the law. The law is bullshit. How is what you're saying any different than all the fucking police shootings we cover on this broadcast? You disgusting pig fuckers. She's being used as a political pawn. And it, your, your white supremacist attitude towards the subject matter is stopping you from seeing the legitimate reason as to why she is still being detained. Not only is there usually some leniency when it comes to these sorts of things, okay? But also in this circumstance, it's a bullshit law to begin with. I wish horrible things upon you, okay? That's the most, like, non-TOS-inducing, non-TOS-violating way 
that I can say this. I hope terrible things happen to you and your family if you legitimately look at a situation like this and go, well, she broke the rules. I have the same amount of disdain and hatred in my fucking heart for you as I do for all the little fucking conservative pigs that see random poor people, white people, black people, brown people get subjugated into a life of fucking criminality within the criminal justice system and sit there and say, well, them's the rules. I hope the same fate befalls on those piglets as it does to you. Piece of shit. Fuck you, dude. You are such a disgusting scum fucker. You are vermin, dude. Vermin. The law's the law. Triggered by the triggered for reacts. Yeah, exactly. Fuck yourself and your family. Fuck your mother. Fuck your father. Fuck yourself. Only reason why she's not being allowed out is because they want to do a prisoner exchange. But I can't even do adequate analysis here because we can't get over the fucking main hurdle in the conversation. A white supremacist attitude that is stopping you dead in your tracks from regu from seeing what is right in front of your eyes. Russia could come out and literally be like, yeah, we're holding her because we want to do a prisoner swap. Fuck you, suck my dick. And you motherfuckers would still be like, nah, she's a black woman, she deserves it. You just created like 10 mega haters on you. What a weird hill for them to die on. I don't care. Position in Kentucky is 45 days and a $250 fine. NBA player was arrested for three pounds and was not in jail for four months. And that law is bullshit too. I swear to God, dude, if this was a white person, if this was like a white dude, you would literally be like, nah, that's fucked up. That's bullshit. There's no way. They're openly stating that this is leverage. This is how political, uh, this is how political conversations take place. And you're straight up being like, nah, nah, that's fucked up. Like, no, she deserves to be in prison for 10 years. Sorry, dude. I, I get passionate about this stuff because it's like disgusting that a community that I've harbored, a community that I've grown, a community that I've pushed to educate for so many fucking years is falling so fucking short on this. It, it kills me. It kills me to see so many motherfuckers come out and be like, nah, she violated the law, man. You should respect the country's laws of visitor, Russia or elsewhere. Man, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Like, there are countries where you could get fucking executed, dude. It's ridiculous. That doesn't make it all right. Now, wait till you get to my country's mandatory death laws for drugs. Slavery was a rule, so it must be okay for you to beat the shit out of black people. Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. No, it's just straight up. Slavery is a fucking law, and also freeing slaves was against the law, so I guess, sorry. I'm always exposing why this community is so white. Y'all are the least charitable fucks on Twitch. No, like... This is the expectation from a community like this is not this attitude. Like, that's crazy to me. You are not like this is a this is a very different space than everywhere else. I have a medical car, but would never bring weed on an international flight. What a dumb fuck take. Bro, I'm not. Then don't go to Russia. OK, some of you need to go to <laughs> some of you need to fucking go to to Russian prison, I think, for a little bit. I hope it's a bullshit fucking law. It is a bullshit law. And the other part of this process is that she would normally not be held like this if it wasn't for Russia, instead of turning the other cheek as they normally do, using this as an opportunity to have her in as a political prisoner. I am, you, you are straight up, you are straight up refusing to recognize what I am saying. And I think the reason why you're refusing to straight up understand what I'm saying is that there is a, there's a, there's a different motivating principle there. They could have arrested her for anything. It doesn't matter what they arrested her for. They kept her for 130 days in detainment and she officially began her criminal trial like literally on July 1st. Reiner said in the court that she understood the charges but declined to immediately comment on them. The prosecution questioned two witnesses on day one an airport customs official and an unidentified witness with only the former speaking in open court per Russian news agency, Ria Novosti. I wouldn't want to talk on the specifics of the case and the charges and to comment on our position. It's because it's too early for it. Earlier in the week, Griner's pretrial detention was reportedly extended six months, her fourth such extension. According to TASS, Griner's previous pretrial detention ran through July 2nd. Talked about unjustifiable detentions of black people in Rikers Island, unjustifiable detentions of, of people in general. Without a fucking trial, you understand how damaging that is. You understand how fucked up that is. But when it comes to Russia, I guess it's all uh, it's a little different. None of this is about the weed, you fucking idiots. What's wrong with you? You sound like the fucking anarcho natoists The people who are like, oh, ACAP, but I love NATO. ACAP, but I love fucking Russian cops. ACAP, but I love when Russia uh, has ridiculous, cruel, draconian laws. You're the same kind of fucking dumbass that those fucking bread tube dumbasses are. You think you're above it, but you're not. Also, some of you are those fucking anarcho natoists and you don't think this is a good enough political bargaining chip. That's why you're 
uh, preemptively defending the Biden administration because you don't think you should concede the Russia. And who cares if a black woman is, is unjustifiably jailed for many, many years as a consequence of that? That's the, ma that's the main reason. Some of you are defending Russia because you're fucking idiots. And some of you are defending Biden, the Biden administration preemptively for not taking any action in this circumstance because they're infallible and they can do no wrong and no one should turn around and fucking concede to Russia because they're Hitler. They're Hitlerian. Stop trash talking. No racism in Russia. My man said there's no racism in Russia, dude. Bro, you literally... You're literally, oh my God, oh my God, I'm gonna fucking lose my mind. Been watching for a while. This is the first take I disagree with someone. She should be back here and treated like a Southern state would for a vape pen. Yeah, we should whip her, dude, actually. She should be. She should be whipped and, and, and put into a fucking, uh, uh, you know. She should be put on a fucking auction block and whipped like a Southern state. What the fuck is this? Is that any better? No, exactly. If someone was arrested in a Southern state and treated like this, I would be this fucking livid. And if a chatter said this kind of dumb shit about a black woman in a fucking southern state being arrested and being jailed permanently, being kept in detention for months and months on end without a fucking trial, and you had the audacity to come in hot with this and go, hey, don't bring a fucking vape, vape pen to a southern state, I would fucking destroy you. What the fuck is going on right now? Yeah, think about it like it's a southern state. Now think about it like uh, the southern state of Louisiana. I just want to stop for a second. Let's not talk about black people. Let's talk about beautiful white women for a second. Because some of you, some of you pasty fucks cannot comprehend the humanity of black people. So let's talk about a beautiful white woman, okay? A beautiful white lady who is in the state of Louisiana and wants to get a fucking abortion. Is it justifiable for her to leave the state and get an abortion if she's going to be criminally tried in the state of Louisiana? Are you going to turn around and say something along the lines of, well, she shouldn't have gotten fucked and she shouldn't have fucking gotten an abortion if she got fucked? Is that what you're going to say? Or do you comprehend when it's a white woman that is the victim that they can actually be a real victim? You're disgusting. You are a disgusting pig fucker if you legitimately look at a situation like this and think, nah, I'm on the side of law and, and, and criminal, uh, I'm on the side of the, the, the criminal justice system. You have destroyed a part of your fucking brain that has like a crumb of empathy in it. If you look at a circumstance where someone is unjustifiably jailed permanently for a fucking vape pen. Why do we advocate for shit? No, seriously. Why do we advocate for any uh, changes in the laws? Why do you look at the Angola, uh, Louisiana State Penitentiary and go, wow, that's literally a plantation. If you're going to turn around and be like, no, but it's totally fine to throw uh, all these people in that plantation for violating the law. Rules are rules. This is, this is making me lose my mind. I'm joining the fight against the criminal justice system on the side of criminal justice. My man says she should be treated like any other fucking red state. Any other Russian state. I mean, any other red state where she would have the audacity to bring a vape pen, dude. Tell me the difference between long-term subs and this sock in my DMs. Sorry that I'm white and I believe in laws. You must be black, right? He says the nice bathroom. Who is black? That's nice, man. Digmal Goet 699. Some of you sound exactly like this motherfucker, for the record. Dudes are in the chat sounding off like, law and order, law and order. Law and order must be maintained. That's crazy, dude. Well, literally, you should have zero respect for Russian drug laws, you fucking clowns. A DM from a chatter. I mean, yeah, that is, yeah. I don't have any fucking respect for, for ridiculous drug laws like that, no matter where it is in the world. And the fucked up part about it is, the fucked up part about it, like I said, the fucked up part about all of this is that some of you long-term chatters totally recognize this when it comes to certain instances. But the moment that it's a fucking black woman, you're like, I don't know. It's not famous enough. It's not Oprah. Like, there needs to be a bar met. For the American government and you to have empathy towards a, a black woman. Ironic because like all of those laws are written in this way. So you can justifiably criminalize the existence of certain minorities. With Griner's new designation, the U.S. government can immediately work to negotiate a return as opposed to waiting until her trial in Russia concludes. According to Ned Price, a U.S. consular officer met Griner on May 19th and the officer reported Griner was continued to do as well as could be expected under these exceedingly challenging circumstances. Videos of Griner attempting to pass through airport screening emerged from Russian customs on March 5, but the service didn't identify the former Baylor star by name. Russian news agency TASS then confirmed it was Griner. According to a report from TASS on March 17, the Moscow court extended her pretrial detention until May 19th. The court also denied Griner's request for house arrest. According to Insider, 
Reiner, who's about six foot nine, has complained about the jail's beds being too small for her. She shares a cell with two other English speaking inmates and both reportedly have no prior convictions and are being held for drug related articles. Reiner made a brief Russian courtroom appearance on May 13th when she reportedly learned her pretrial detention was extended until 18th. On March 18th, Ekaterina Kalugina, a representative of Moscow's public monitoring commission that oversees how prisoners are treated, said the U.S. consul is yet to visit Griner. That's crazy. On March 22nd, Ned Price told CNN they were granted consular access to Griner and they found that she was in good condition. Her crime quite literally is being in the wrong place in the wrong time. There's no law in Russia in the same capacity as in the U.S. can't understand that the same way people can't understand the fourth dimension. There's so many reformed people in here and many online leftist spaces who claim to have overcome right-wing alt-right ideology, but situations like this ultimately reveal that they just grew older, entered the real world, and realized that they wanted socialized healthcare and education while still holding on to all of those reactionary tendencies on every issue outside of things they immediately benefit from. Yeah, it's wild to see so many chatters go fucking law and order. Law and order like they're stupid fucking trumpy hogs when it comes to the situation cannabis in russia is illegal possession of up to six grams is an administrable offense punishable by a fine or detention of 15 days yeah that's why they hit her with intent to distribute and drug trafficking charges why were so many people saying she had a hundred vape the uh, vape pins like i heard so many motherfuckers say she had hundreds of vape pens on her in her bag where are you getting straight up not a white person being called a white supremacist oh yeah i forgot fuck if you're not white, you can't be the white man's dog like you are in this circumstance and behave like the white man's dog as you are currently. You think you're so fucking woke with your anti-imperialist, anti-America takes, but all of a sudden you bark like the fucking white man's dog you are. I would put any woman's open AirPod case in my mouth and I would swallow them if my throat was big enough. Good take by Felix on this issue. I know where your fucking take is coming from. I know, I know why you're saying that. By definition, you do not have to be a white person to be a white supremacist. Yeah, exactly. I know why Tara is def Tara is like saying, oh, well, the laws in Russia are barbaric like the South, like changing their fucking tune. The reason why they're doing it is because they are a defender of Russia for the most part. That's crazy to me that like so many motherfuckers are behaving this way. No, I did. I did finish the sentence. I did. I did read it. I did read it. Stop fucking defending him. I did. I did read the take. Straight up, not a white person being called a white supremacist for just saying the South is as barbaric with their drug laws as Russia, a conservative Orthodox state is. We aren't defending them. We're saying it's a matter of fact that it's trafficking. You are a fucking coward. And you, Western Bing or wherever the fuck you are, are an idiot who didn't read the older shit that Tara Genome said. Considering what Brittany Griner did to be drug trafficking, you might as well fucking say, you know, she deserves the, yeah, clown ass. What's up? What's up, you fucking clown? Is that uncharitable? Or am I operating off of what I know about this chatter's background? And also on top of that, what they originally fucking said. Prosecutors allege that prior to her trip, Griner purchased two cartridges containing 0 0.252 grams and 0 0.45 grams of hash oil for personal use. Last week's hearings featured testimony from two customs agents who were working on the airport when Griner's bags were inspected. I didn't see that. Maybe I did. Maybe that was what I was originally reacting to, which caused them to fucking react this way in the cowardly capacity to make it seem like, oh, I just meant like... Oh, I just meant like, I, oh, I called it drug trafficking for multiple fucking uh, texts in the chat, but then turned around and said, oh, I just meant like it's just barbaric as it is in the South. Why are chatters so fucking stupid sometimes? You can't, you can't be charitable to me. You have to be charitable to the other chatters. You see, I'm reading it. What's up? How many fucking long-term committee members is going to come out and be like, yeah, no, I think she should be killed for this. Debate chatters will not let go of the technicality that she was caught with drugs and will completely ignore that she was a political prisoner being held indefinitely. Yeah, and the drugs that she was caught for was is nothing. Is literally grab, throw in the trash, move on. What is happening? What what's what's going on right now? Sorry, but the entire premise of this derailment is dumbass is basically saying coulda, shoulda, woulda from the get-go. It's some debate lordy bullshit. Who gives a fuck? The conversation should be about what can be done to bring her back. This fucking chat, I grew up with these drug laws. Get the fuck out. 0 0.252 grams and 0 0.45 grams of hash oil for personal use. That's why they're holding her under drug trafficking charges. But normally in this circumstance, that number is not even in the fucking limit for domestic Russian laws. Domestic Russian possession laws is not even, is, is more than that. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything else going on right now.
I wonder if there's any other circumstance as to why. Fucking delusional dickheads, dude. You're like disgusted by. Look. She carry she broke the law by carrying guns. Isn't that what happened? Drugs. She was a foreigner carrying illicit drug in the country. Drug trafficking charges are justified, I think. Additionally, there must be some form of law and order. We aren't anarchists after all. It's so funny because like you love Stalin, but then you also are caping for I guess uh, all of Stalin's worst qualities that you see in Russia, like modern Russia now, but none of the good shit. And meanwhile, Stalin was literally a bank robber, which I'm sure he would say is based, which I do think it was cool. That was a good thing. Why is this even a debate? I always check countries we were traveling to. I know it's a bit unfair, but this is her fault. Man, shut the fuck up. She should have been released already. The only fucking reason why she's still being detained for the tiny fraction of fucking THC she had in her cartridge is because she's a political prisoner and you are a white supremacist piece of shit, okay? Now, you might not be like, a, I'm going to wear a Klan's robe and say the N-word type white supremacist, but you certainly are the type of white supremacist who's like, ah, oh, fuck it, I don't really care. I'm going to find any reason I can to side with a country in this circumstance that, that I would normally even criticize, probably, if it happened in my own, because the victim in this, uh, in this instance is a black woman. It's causing you to not look at this because you cannot see the humanity of this person. This woman's been in prison for months, dude. Russia is very openly stating, you know, they're going to detain her for as long as they can. Sorry, shouldn't have been gay and gone to Saudi Arabia. Well, Hassan, I'm sorry to say, but that's not how it would work with any amount of drugs she's caught with. At this point, it's clear that America is at war with Russia and China, and they do not view America as a friendly nation. They will behave in their own benefit from there on. Yeah, no shit. Hassan, stop. I think it, people just don't care and don't think it's about if she's black. No, people don't care because she's black, okay? Because she's a black woman. People don't give a shit enough. If she was a white dude, you 100% would care. You, it's just, you would. You would care more. You'd say, fuck that. That's bullshit. That's unjustifiable. Just about not seeing the humanity of certain people. You're literally recognizing what I'm saying and saying, ah, well, people just don't care. It's like, motherfucker, you don't care. And the funniest part is, no, we wouldn't. No, we wouldn't. You go to Russia and expect them to change their views for one specific person. Brother, I just showed you that their views do not even align with the punishment. Their views do not align with the normal punishment for criminal possession. You are refusing to recognize the facts in front of you. You are refusing to recognize the facts in front of you that Russia is keeping her under detention as a political bargaining chip unjustifiably. And the reason why they're doing that is because they're, they want to they bargain her. They want to use her as a bargaining chip. And you're defending that. And the reason why you don't care and you're defending that is because you don't see the humanity of the person that we're talking about. Remember when covering any information coming out of Russia, it was called fake news and couldn't be trusted? Black women arrested for drugs? We believe cops. We stand Russia. Ukraine who? Gulag these Trump. Gulag for trumped up charges. 2009 imprisonment of American journalists by North Korea. North Korean soldiers detained two American journalists who were working for the U.S. independent cable network television current, D current TV. I used to work with them, by the way. I, I used to work there before it turned into Al Jazeera or Al Gore sold it to Al Jazeera. They were found guilty of illegal entry and sentenced to 12 years hard labor. I got back from work 30 minutes ago. Or do you think this stream might be my joker moment? It just sucks. It sucks to see, dude. It, it totally fucking sucks to see. You think Brittany Griner cases an injustice? Let me tell you about the protesters on January 6th who were rotting in D.C. for far less than she did. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's how Chad is today. Yeah? Think about that. You, you think Brittany Griner's case is an injustice? Well, how about serving the top of the hour ad break at 3.39 instead of at 3 because you got fucking stunlocked? The community grew. The community grew a little bit too quickly. This happens all the time. And then we fucking cut the tall trees, okay? And then we get back to it. Obviously, the bad guys were saying that back then in the Rwanda genocide. But, like, you see what I'm saying. We got to do a little bit of a lawn mowing, okay? And then the community fucking normalizes again. And they recognize that, you know, they recognize that, you know, maybe this is not a safe harbor for motherfuckers who are like, yeah, no, I think this person deserves the death penalty. A chatter said you would get the life in prison for what she did if she was in Kentucky. My brain is melting. Yeah, no, it was awesome. It was great. One vape pen. One vape pen. 
And motherfuckers were like, no, they would shoot you on sight in Kentucky. No, the fuck they wouldn't. Shut the fuck up. And if, even if you did, even if you did get the death penalty or whatever the fuck, that's like, that's crazy. That's like an insane thing. You should be fighting against that. I don't know. They, they didn't grow weed in, in USSR, but they did. They had no laws against hemp, I don't think. And actually celebrated hemp growing. Chatters right now. <laughs> 36 Hassan subs out of absolutely nowhere. Friendship ended with critical thinking. Now being a complete dumbass is my best friend. They had hemp medals for hemp, but not for weed across the board. A lot of people don't have an emotional investment in the person. If this was Michael Jordan or Rihanna or someone like that, Chatters might be acting different, but it's a black woman they don't know being victimized by a system, so they're desensitized to it because it's business as usual. Yes, and my point is, it should not need to be that way. You shouldn't have to have an emotional investment in someone in a black person's uh, existence to recognize their humanity and ride for them when they're being unjustifiably detained for an otherwise bullshit fucking criminal charge that's trumped up. You get it? That's the point. That's what I'm saying is racist as fuck. That's, that's white supremacy in action in a very hidden way too. Not necessarily directly in your face. It shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be about fucking whether or not how much you like the, the black person to see like, oh man, well, I guess this person deserves to be saved. How are you any different than the fucking uh, Italian government only offering a citizen, uh, only offering citizenship to that uh, to that African migrant because he saved a fucking kid from from almost falling off of a building? Only then are, are you allowed to be seen as a true Ital or was it France? I thought it was Italy. Only then are you allowed to be recognized as human. I mean, this is a consistent attitude all around Europe. Black people in uh, in in european countries when they're national when they're playing for their national team are only seen as oh, this is thank you chatter for bringing this uh, to the fucking fold thanks there you go black people that play sports for european national teams are only seen as like citizens when they're winning the moment that they're losing they're treated like fucking you know non-citizens that in and of itself is straight up racist dude errol weber Brittany Griner actively refused to be present during the playing of the U.S. National Anthem before games and even demanded the anthem and flag be uh, avoided in all games. I wonder what it feels like now with her begging the red, white, and blue to come to her rescue. You know, this is a beautiful take because it really shows how much of a fucking animal Americans are. Wait.